Welcome to Spelling List, Week 6B. Please set up your paper with your name and date in the upper right-hand corner. This week's list has 19 words. The first word is own. Most of this week's words use ow o's second sound. So the word is own, one syllable. When we buy the new house, we will own it. Think to spell O N. Spell out loud with me. Own. O W N. Own. Please write and mark own in your notebook. Number two. Known. One syllable. I should have known the correct answer. We think to spell N O N. Spell out loud with me. Known K N. O W N. Known. Please write and mark known in your notebook. Number three. Show. One syllable. I will look at it when you show me. Think to spell sh o. Spell out loud with me. Show. S H O W. Show. Please write and mark show in your notebook. Number four. Shown. One syllable. He has shown her how to play guitar chords. Shown. This is the past tense of to show. It's an irregular verb tense. Shown. Think to spell. Sh o n. Please spell out loud with me. Shown. S h o w n. Shown. Please write and mark shown in your notebook. Number five, blow, one syllable. Blow out your birthday candles and make a wish. Think to spell b l o. Spell out loud with me. Blow. B L O W. Blow. Please write and mark blow in your notebook. Slow. One syllable. I will slow down if I go too fast. Think to spell. S L O. Spell out loud with me. Slow. S L O W. Slow. Please write and mark slow in your notebook. Number seven. Grow. One syllable. The tiny piglet would grow up into a big pig. Think to spell G R O. Spell out loud with me. Grow. G-R-O-W. Grow. 
please write and mark grow in your notebook. Number eight, throw, one syllable. Catch the ball when I throw it to you. Think to spell th -r -o. Spell out loud with me. T H R O W. Throw. Please write and mark throw in your notebook. Number nine. Low. One syllable. The child could only reach the low shelf. Think to spell L O. Spell out loud with me. Low. L O W. Low. Please write and mark low in your notebook. Number 10. B low. Two syllables. My foot is below my knee. First syllable, B E. Second syllable, L O. Spell out loud with me. Below. B E L O W. Below. E is saying E at the end of a syllable. Please write and mark below in your notebook. Number 11. Follow. Two syllables. Follow behind your sister on the way home. We say follow. We think to spell F A. L, L, O. When we say follow in regular speech, we only hear the L once, the L, but we say it twice in, when we think to spell it to make sure we get the double L in there. And also because syllables are usually split between double letters. Spell out loud with me. Follow. F O L L O W. Follow. Please write and mark follow in your notebook. Number 12. Yellow. Two syllables. Lemons are yellow and limes are green. Think to spell Y E L L O. Just like follow, this has two L's. We hear them both when we think to spell it. We only hear one in normal speech. Spell out loud with me. Yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Yellow. Please write and mark yellow in your notebook. Number 13. Window. Two syllables. I look out the window into the backyard. First syllable, w e n d o. Spell out loud with me. Window, W I N D E O W. Window. Please write and mark window in your notebook. Number 14. Tomorrow. Three syllables. Tomorrow is the day after today. Think to spell T U M A R R O. Spell tomorrow out loud with me. Tomorrow. 
T-O-M-O-R-R-O-W, tomorrow. The O is saying its third sound, U. The O-R in this case is not acting as a phonogram. It's acting as two separate sounds, so we marked the O with a 1, just so we can remember that that's not a phonogram, but two separate letters. And then, of course, the second sound of O-W at the end. Number 15 and 16 are homophones. 15, 16, 17 are all homophones for the same sound, so. The first definition of so is to sew with a needle and thread. The second definition of so is to the amount or the degree. It's also a conjunction. It was so cold that the pond froze. And the last definition of sow is to sow seeds, to plant seeds. So to sow as in to plant. How many carrot seeds did you sow? Let's spell out loud. So, as in needle and thread, S E W. So, the conjunction, S O. So, as in to plant, S O W. You can see the E W there is an exception. It does not say any of the typical sounds that we normally think of with E W. For so, the conjunction, the O is saying O at the end of a syllable. Please write and mark all three words in your notebook. Number 18 and 19 are also phonogram, or I'm sorry, homograms, homophones. Let's start that again. 18 and 19 are homophones. The homophone is no. The first definition of no is probably one of your first words and it's the expression of a negative response, as in the opposite of yes. The other no is to be familiar with, as in I know him from our time together at camp. Let's spell out loud together. No, as in the opposite of yes, N-O. No, as in to be familiar with, K-N-O-W.